Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Catfish and Carp. Today, me and Tommy are in Cape Coral, Florida, and we are going fishing for sheep's head. And uh, I'm here with John Black from Crazy Lure Fishing. He's our guide here. I'm gonna put some links in the description for his YouTube channel and his website, so you can find out more information about his charters, what he does. But it has been red hot for sheep's head, and we're gonna go nail some. And if we're lucky, we're gonna do a little cleaning and cooking as well. So we're gonna make it a whole catch clean cook video. It's a beautiful day, John. It's awesome, baby. <laughs> you excited to go catch a sheep's head? If we're real lucky, we might catch the whole sheep. Alright guys, this is the mangroves that everyone hears so much about. Man, this is just like the backbone of the ecosystem. That's a perfect spot for little fry to live. And perfect spot for predators to just to hang out on the outskirts waiting for something to stick its stick its neck out. We're in the mangroves here and we're targeting sheep's head. And sheep's head, they're normally out in the ocean and they come in here to the mangroves to spawn in the winter time. So right now here in December, this is the time to catch big trophy sheep's head and they come up into these mangroves and they like to eat oysters and crabs and shrimp and they've got these really hard teeth and they can chew up just about anything. And uh, right up here in the mangrove roots is a really good spot to target them. So we're gonna see how that turns out. He's come here. Look, some manatees. They just went underwater, but there's some manatees right there. Sheephead don't want it because he's got teeth. He's gonna just pick it off. Yeah. So we're gonna tear him up. I'm gonna chum them up with the tails and the heads. Then I'm gonna take the little meaty part and then I'm gonna peel it. Now we got a nice little meaty part right there. Oh, right there. Yeah. oh yeah, nice little chunk. Okay. So we got a little bitty hook, like a size two. Okay. A size two, not a two zero. That's a two size zero, two. Size That's a little bit of live bait yeah, hook? That's a little live bait hook. You're gonna thread it on there so when they pick it up, they got the whole thing. The hook point's popping out just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. They gonna pick it up and they peck at it. They just peck. They peck your bait off. It looks like you got about 18 inches of line in between the split yeah. shot. I, I like 18 to 24 inches. It just depends on what I like doing. But when I'm close to the mangroves, I like to keep it closer. Yeah. So I don't wrap around. Yeah, I'll pitch it right in the trees. Just like that. Just right in there. Right in the right in the junk. You keep your line tight with a current. Uh huh. And it, you're just gonna get a peck, peck, peck. Mm hmm. And that's about it. Now, when do you know to set the hook? That's the, that's the deal. <laughs> that's, that's the trick. That's the deal. You have to figure out when to set the hook. Do you let it peck, just let them really go at it for a while before you set it? Or do you, uh, do you once you get a couple steady pecks, you yeah, kind of go? Yeah, that usually is steady. And I don't set the hook, I just reel. Just reel. Yeah, just reel down. Okay, Tom. Okay, hold on to that rod. Hold it nice and steady. Don't move it. Don't do anything. Okay, and if you feel like a little tap, 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 tap on your rod, you let me know. It'll kind of feel like, kind of feel like that. You know, kind of. Oh, oh, you got a bite? Oh. Oh, I saw that. Your rod tip bounced really good. Get a couple taps. Doesn't turn into anything. Wait a little bit. Check your bait. Yeah, oh, yep. Yeah, he stole your bait. See, that's why we check it. Now we're going to put some more shrimp out there and we're going to get him. What? That's the Oh, oh, oh. Reel it. Reel, 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 reel. Reel, reel. Reel it. Oh, there you go, bud. Real hard. We got, pick up, pick up. I think, Did he get you I, think he's, I think he's a little snagged up. No, oh, yeah, keep reeling, keep reeling. I think he popped out. Keep reeling. Keep oh, reeling. it is a big sheep head. It is. He's got a oh. good one. There it is. I got the Oh, look at that. Yeah. Woo. I want to see his teeth. All right, all right. Good job. You did about you. You got him out of the yeah. tree. Good look at that. That's a. That's a pretty fish. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth, That's Tom. Where you Great are. job, buddy. Oh. Say hi. Oh. Look at that. It looks just like yours. See, look at look at the bottom ones. They're perfectly straight. They look like. And that's how and that's how they, uh, they that's like how they eat the oysters and they spit the clams out. They got crushers in their look, mouth. Look. See if you look yeah, in there, it you see them. Looks like Freddy. It kind of like this hand. This hand is took it now. I can't barely move it. See. Man, 12 like inches of the rules? Yeah, he's good. He's good, solid, 14. almost 14. Yep. Almost 14? Yep. Oh, that's big. Yeah, it is go. a big fish. Oh, it's all chafed up. Yeah, that's he's... for him being in the tree. But he did good to get him out. 
Yeah, guys, that's a, that's a good thing to do. Every once in a while, just run your fingers down your monofilament and feel for nicks and dings. And if it is, just clip off the end and retie your rig. Photo. I'll get one too. Okay. Go ahead and put them back in. There you go. Good job, bud. That didn't even hurt. There you go. Here, here, big one. Big one. Front, front. Front. Here, help. Yeah, this is bent the hook. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, big snapper. Yeah, look at that. Here, yeah. yeah, I think he might even be a keeper. He is a keeper. So this is a mangrove snapper or a gray snapper. And they, uh, this is a pretty decent sized one. The minimum limit's 10 inches. And uh, he's a big old boy, but check out the teeth on these guys. He has pointy fangs. A yeah, little shrimp on the bottom does does wonders with these things. Yeah, yep. yeah, he's about 10 and a half, 11. Okay. Yeah. Dada. They don't call them snappers for no reason. When I use the forceps to try to get the hook out of their mouth, they'll go and attack the forceps. So they're, they're pretty aggressive. I'm fine with holding sea pits, but not mangroves. Snapper. Yeah, those fangs are they're a bit nasty. <laughs> oh, another big snapper. Yeah. What are you doing? How are you catching all those? Yeah, you will chomp your fingers. We're gonna gonna He's a keeper. We're going to throw him back. Yeah. Gonna... Here we go. We are benevolent. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Tommy, you want this one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Little mango snapper. You, you want to you give him a kiss? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he bites your nose off. Oh, there we go. Oh, out of, out of here. Out of here. Sure, go for it, buddy. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, snapper! Do one more throw here, and we don't get a sheep head. We move it. Okay. What do you want? Corner? What do you think? Corner? Yeah, I'll put it Yeah, I see. I keep saying mango snapper too, and thinking they should taste really sweet. Yeah, yeah mangoes. Hey, you know what? You're not the only one. A lot of people. Yeah, they should really be like the asparagus snapper, and then they probably would have a much better survival rate. It, it would be like, oh, no, I ain't touching it. He's a baby mangrove snapper. We can't, I want to hold him. You want to hold, hold him? him up. All right, we got one sheephead and a bunch of mangrove snappers. I didn't even film all of them, but we're going to go try another spot because I think we tapped this one out. See what happened. But it is an absolute lovely day. The sun is shining. We're sheltered from the crazy wind. And it's December. It's December, people. This is awesome. All right, just tying up here in that spot. And look at these giant, freaky spiders. Oh, hold still, little spider. Woo, they're pretty. All right, we're in a new spot. We got a bit of current ripping through here. So we're going to up our game. Got a little half ounce, one ounce uh, egg sinker. One ounce. One ounce egg sinker. What kind of knot you use to attach? Just a, this one I just do a fisherman's knot. Oh, yeah. just... You want to keep it on the calm side of the current kind of thing? Try to, yes. Every single time. There you go. Oyster. A uh, little nope. snapper. Monster. Well, that spot was crawling with a little mangrove snapper, so we're going to go try a different spot here and see if we can uh, get into some sheep head. Oh, something's going on here. Oh, he's a little different. That's a sheep head. head. Sheep said, I'm a sheep herder. <laughs> oh, those chompers. Look, right, right, dolphins. Oh, look at that, Tommy Dolphins. I Feel it biting? Feel it biting. Okay, why don't you go reel it? You got him? Yeah, I think you do. Wait. Yeah, little mango snapper, you got him. There's one right there. See him moving? You think he's doing it? That's all right. It's right. Yeah, it's sunny. Got something. Oh, there's a sheep head right there, buddy. Do you want to reel them? Be careful, don't drop the rod like that. You reel them in. Yay! Oh, I got it. Oh, go. perfect. Good job. Woo! Perfect. I'll see another one. I don't really like that. There's a nice, nice mangrove snapper. Is you looking for something with like a lot of oyster beds, right? Got it. Hey, look, Tommy, a sheep's head. What? Look at that. Oh, oh, son of a gun. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. Look at that head shake. Whoa. Oh, 
That was ferocious. Look at that. Bad, buddy. Yeah, it was an angry sheephead. John's driving the boat, peeling shrimp, getting bait ready. Tommy's watching his Kindle, and uh, I'm casting it in. We're not even anchored up. We're just kind of just, just hanging out. John's keeping it really steady, considering. Got a lot of current here. Oh, there's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Oh, gosh. Whoa. Big one. Yeah, I could, could tell a difference on that one. Let oh, me just pop him up. Ooh. Hey, Tommy, look at the size of this thing. Don't put him in the tree. Look at that. Look at that. He put up a heck of a fight, too. <laughs> I had to really manhandle him to keep him out of those mangroves. Hey, Tommy, you ready to get back in the game? Yeah. Nice, he's coming back. Go real, 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 real. Real, real, buddy. There you go. Real, that's a nice one. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's a big snapper, buddy. Yeah. That took yeah. out both of my arms. That took out both your arms? Right. Hold on to that rod, buddy. Don't let go of the rod. Well, guys, that was awesome. We had an absolute ball. Caught a ton of fish. We caught more of those mangrove snappers than we'll even show you. But uh, caught a fair number of sheep's head. And we aren't, we're not out here very long. We, we had to cut things short because I've got to meet a guy in the Everglades to go hunt giant pythons. So that's another video, another story. But anyway, we're going to head back to the, uh, the dock here and we're going to show you how to clean these things. And then later on, we're going to cook them up. I'm going to show you all of that stuff. You know, while we've been on this trip, we saw some manatees, we saw some dolphins, we saw tons of birds. We gotta go in and catch loads of fish and we're bringing home fillets. And it's only a little bit more than going on like a manatee watching or dolphin watching charter. You know, you can go with these fishing boats and see the same stuff that all the whale watching and dolphin watching tours are seeing and you're gonna catch fish. Tommy, there's do the dolphin. By the wall. Yeah, right, right, right over right there. See right there? It's a dolphin. See that? See him right there? Oh, yeah. 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 oh, look, there's one right here. He just went right under the boat. Probably those same two we saw you the other day. Those dolphins are fast. They just went ripping right past us. It's only like three feet of water, so you can see them really well. So you clean a snapper too. All right, cool. You know, a lot of people show you how to clean a fish in a professional kitchen or a cleaning station, but this is real life. We're going to show you how to how to clean a fish when the wind's howling and we don't have any place to clean. <laughs> don't pay attention to my knife sharpener here. <laughs> We're going to go simple down this way, okay? But here's where it gets different. There's a rib cage that comes through here. Yep. You cannot cut through that rib cage. So we're gonna make an incision down by its head, right? Here comes the hard part. This is where everybody gets their fingers cut. So I'm gonna take the edge of the knife, right? And I'm gonna go down this, down that, right? See how I just went in there? Now I'm gonna keep going down, right? You stick your finger underneath here and you keep walking it down. All right, so we're gonna keep pulling. We're going right along the backbone. See that, how beautiful that is? All right, we're gonna keep doing that. Now here's a rib cage right here. This is what you can't cut through. So we gotta go above it. So that's what we just keep, we just keep cutting with the edge of your knife, just like that. See that rib cage, All right? And then you cut right down, right down to it. Then we can finish this off down here and come onto your traditional play. Put them back over, All right? And then we keep going, keep going. Keep going, cutting it down, cutting it down, cutting it down. So. Get to his tail, flop him over. There's all your meat with no rib cage. And you put it down just like this. 
There you go. You leave nothing but skin. And then we're going to feed this back to the crabs. crabs. <laughs> Clean off our little dot here. <laughs> now I'm going to show you a snapper too for you. Okay. All right. All you got to do is traditional fillet on a snapper. So down by his head, down to his stomach. You don't have to worry about no rib cage. And to some people, this is the best fish in the ocean right here. It's $20 a pound at the store. But you know why? Because they're small. Yeah. But look at this little piece of meat. That's really, really nice right there. Oh, that there. looks like a crappie, man. Yeah, look how, how nice and white that is. Yeah. Another flay with no bones. Now, you know you've done your fish right if you can see through them. See that? I can see right through them. It means you left no meat. John, man, I had a ball. That's Thanks so great, much, man. man. I appreciate it. This Sorry, is lovely, man. man. This is good, it's December. I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, I know. It's good stuff. <laughs> All right, All right, man, you take great. care. Appreciate it. I gotta go wrestle a snake, man. Go get him. <laughs> All right, Tommy, you ready to go see mama? Hi. Hi, Hi baby. Pretty awesome. Mm. Thanks for sending the photos. Oh, hi, Jacob. Hi, buddy. All right, guys, we have an amazing feast prepared. We have mango snapper, sheep's head, jumbo scallops, huge fresh caught shrimp and crab claws. All of this is fresh, delicious. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna do a little bit different recipes for each of the seafoods. For the mangrove snapper and the, the sheep's head, we're gonna do blackened fish with a little bit of a lime cream sauce that goes go on it. For the shrimp, we're gonna do a coconut mango o shrimp. With the scallops, we're going to fry them with a little bit of a butter thyme garlic sauce and the crabs, we're going to just boil them and dip them in the in the, the butter thyme garlic sauce. So let's get going. Well, first off, I'm gonna make the mango sauce. I've got this naked mango juice. It's a mango puree, and I'm going to reduce it to make it as thick as possible. I don't need a ton of this, so I think just one bottle ought to do it. And then once I get it reduced, I'm gonna add some seasonings. This is by far the most time intensive part so get it started first making sure it's steaming but you don't want it boiling aggressively okay we're gonna add a big thing of thyme right there we're gonna add a little bit of salt in there too all right once the sauce is reduced down and it's nice and thick pull it off the heat and just let it set okay okay next we're gonna go bake 425 start Look at the size of these prawns. They were caught in the Gulf just yesterday. Go ahead and shell them. <laughs> Look at the size of that. That is a huge piece of meat. Looking pretty good. Next, I'm gonna get the butter garlic sauce uh, ready to go. Let's set that aside for a second. Okay, so crush the garlic. Oh. I've got the butter melting and I've got the thyme and garlic simmering away. I just want that to soak as long as possible so that all that, that flavor gets infused into the butter.
Now we're gonna make a white sauce. Got some sour cream right here. Take some basil. Now normally I would put this in a food processor and really puree it, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna make a half-hearted attempt at dicing it as fine as I can. Couple cloves of garlic, dice them. There we go guys, the ultimate Florida dinner plate. Sheep's head, scallops, stone crab, fresh caught shrimp, a little bit of mango, it's not too bad. Can somebody pass some more scallops? Did you like the scallops? Yeah. The sheep's head is really a subtle white meat, which makes a lot of sense since all they do is eat crabs, clams, shrimp, and you know, oysters. So, kind of tastes a little bit like shellfish. Just a little bit, a little bit. What was your favorite though, the whole olive oil? Um, I haven't tried the crab yet, but so far the coconut made the <coughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed our little uh, sheep's head and mangrove snapper catch and cook video. If you want to see more great catch and cook videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, I'll put a link to our playlist. We have dozens of catch and cook videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Take care. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see all of our great adventures in our Florida trip, don't forget to check out my other channel, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, where we post all of our vlogs and great adventures. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning.